I was always really athletic in school and competed in like recreational and high school sports. I played water polo in university on the varsity team. Um, post school, I wasn't competitively doing sports. I just liked doing, you know, rock climbing, skiing, skydiving, a bunch of individual sports. Um, and I was injured in 2017 in a skydiving accident. So from that point to now is when I just started getting into parasport. I went to the Paralympic search that CPC puts on and met a bunch of the coaches there and tried a bunch of sports and fell right into it basically. I think I was just sitting in rehab when I had time. I was on my computer a lot and just saw it on the website and knew that I wanted to get into sports or try different sports so it seemed like the perfect event to go to to meet representatives from all the different sports. I wasn't really going being like, I want to go to the Paralympics. I was just going knowing that I wanted to try these sports and get into something. I liked being on the water and outside. I kind of, in all the sports I tried, I liked being outside more. That's my style, so being outside and then out of the wheelchair as well, it's, it's always nice to be out on the water. Coming to terms with my disability and the fact that there was a lot that I wasn't going to be able to do again was probably the biggest challenge. Um, it kind of doesn't happen overnight that you accept this. It took quite a few weeks to understand medically where I was and what my life was going to look like. It's definitely ex an extremely hard time and it can feel like you're never going to be happy again or be able to kind of be at a spot you were pre-accident or injury. but. At the end of the day, life goes on, like we only have one life, so I think trying to find whatever makes you happy or brings you that joy, even if it's just small moments at first, is where you got to continue down that path and just make sure you have fun. I guess it was talked about a lot like when I started kayaking of like, this could potentially be a goal if you want to work towards it. Going to such a big multi-sport event, all the international events that I've competed in so far have been just canoe and kayak. So getting to go somewhere where there's all these athletes from different sports and being like a larger part of Team Canada is going to be amazing and also getting to see all those other sports. I've watched a ton of kayaking and I haven't seen a lot of the other sports like in person and had a chance to cheer other Team Canada members on so that will be I think one of the biggest most exciting things.